Hi, I'm from Silicon Valley Empire. In this video, we will show you how to configure your RAID array logical volumes for a HPE DL360E Proliant server. Let's turn on our machine. Once you see the HP Proliant BIOS loading, we will hit the F10 key to enter intelligent provisioning in order for us to enter the smart array system. Once the intelligent provisioning has completed its loading, we will get to choose to perform maintenance. We click on this button and then select Array Configuration Utility. In this window, we will select our array controller. As we select our array controller, you will see that we have eight unassigned drives depending on how much drives you filled in the slot. In this case, we have four 500 gigabytes SAS SSD drives and four 600 gigabyte spindle drives. From this options, we can now start creating our array. Click on the button Array, Create Array. Select which drive you would like to create first. In this case, we will start with our solid state drives. In our solid state drives, we get to select which drives are we going to use for a logical volume. I select four, click OK, and now it creates an array. Now I would like to create a second logical volume wherein I can install all the data, where I can store all the data that I'll be creating. Click Create Array. Select which drives do we want to use. Click OK. And there you go. Now we'll be creating a logical drive. Configuring it, click on Create Logical Drive, wherein we, will be, we have the option to select what type of RAID are we going to use. In this case, I will be using RAID 1 plus 0. Leave everything to default and hit save. Now I have a logical volume where I can install my operating system. Let's click another logical volume from the other unused space. Click RAID 1 plus 0, leave everything to default, hit save. After configuring your logical volumes, you need to set which will be the bootable drive volume. In this case, the bootable drive that I want it to be are the solid state drives because that is where I'm going to install all my operating systems or, uh, or your main operating system. I click on primary boot logical volume and then hit save and there you go. Now your smart array RAID has been configured with two logical volumes that has RAID 1 plus 0 for solid state drives and spindle drives and we have set up our bootable logical drive where we are going to install our operating system that will load up. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to get updates on our latest videos. You can also visit our website www.siliconvalleyenterprise.com and check our products to avail discounts. Please see description.